All right, welcome back. Uh, our next guest is uh, an economist. He's a philanthropist. He's an animal activist. Activist. Uh, he is a congressional candidate. He's an American First candidate. Uh, he's endorsed by the GOP House uh, Conference Chair. He's running in the third district in the great state of uh, New York. And uh, let's welcome uh, George Santos uh, with us. And uh, George, how are you? Good morning, and uh, welcome to the show. Good morning, Jeff. Thank you for having me. Hey, uh, George, uh, when I found out a little bit more about your story, I was uh, amazed. Uh, back in uh, 2020, uh, you uh, really thought you won that race initially, right? Well, not only I thought I won, I'll, I have something I'll show you and your viewers, but I actually got down to new member orientation, and you can see here that's my new member badge. So that's that's actually facts. Uh, I. You know, you you run a race and you think, you know, election night, this is a it's, it's constitutional year. It's election night, not election season or post election season. So that's just what went down in 2020. So you were you were considered the victor. You were there for your orientation. And then then what happened? Well, the, the reality is uh, back then, Governor Andrew Cuomo kept changing the rules on um, what the deadline would be for receiving the ballots, right? So he, he said postmarked by Election Day, received by the 10th. Then he says two more days, the 12th. Then he extended it to the 14th. And when we left to orientation, we were 10,800 votes ahead of the incumbent. And we had only 23,000 absentee ballots left to count. He needed two-thirds of those 23,000, and the majority of those were uh, military ballots. So you know that those trend, and they were trending nationwide, right. Republican. So we're confident. Uh, you know, fast forward two weeks later, 70,000 extra ballots were added to the mix. And uh, obviously those numbers are, I don't think you need to be an economist or a mathematician to figure out that those numbers are really tough to overcome. So 93,000 absentee ballots in total. I ended up losing. They sent me back home. But I will say this. They created a monster because here I am running again. And that same incumbent <laughs> has resigned. He is not running for reelection.